identical anywhere you go. When you say Nupi, you must know Mba, you must know, you know Kubelaji. The reason why this kind of occasion is organized is to bring to light, to the forefront, the values of our culture that our ancestors have been used to. We don't want them to forget. And that's why we have this gathering every year. And very soon we are going to make it such that it becomes part and parcel of their school curriculum by the special grace of God. It used to be promoted by especially the missionaries, but now we want it universal. Culture is dynamic. So some people live amongst us, they imbibe their culture, they imbibe their own. But the whole essence is national unity, all right, through making sure that you have confidence in yourself. But if you lose your culture, you lose part of yourself. But if you have your culture and your composed mentors, you can now begin to move outwards to embrace others, know who you are. But if you are rudderless, then you are rudderless. Bida, the headquarters of the Nupe Kingdom, is made up of three ruling houses, namely Umoru Majigi, Mansaba, and Usuman Zaiki, from where the current Etunupe comes from. Accordingly, the town is bounded in the north, east, west, and south by Asian gates which served as protection against enemy invasion. You see some people are having... Head tie along, along their neck. It's an indication that the uh, majority of us are far farmers. That is uh, indicated in green farming. The blue, some of them are, are, are fishermen. That's why you see that the, the blue color represents the, the, the old river Niger. We are brave people. That's why you see that uh, red has been inserted there. Because that is uh, our national color. In times past, Nupe people are known to be predominantly farmers. The Nupes are very good at fishing. And because of the Fadama that borders these rivers, they are good at party rice uh, farming. And they are also good at normal uh, upland, upland crop farming. After the colonial government and up to this time after independence, Nupe people have tend to go into more of public service, civil service, you know. That is our mainstay, our main work these days. Most of us are civil servants working for the government. In addition, the Nupes are well known for their brass work, glassworks and beads. Only members of the royal family were initially catered for by these artisans in brass making until much later when they began to cater for the needs of the general public. The name of the family is Mukun. Most of the work we do were purely for the traditional rulers. Uh, only that emphasis has shifted from making spear which were made for whole swords, daggers, and uh, what have you, to making a lot of fashionable items now these days, like local spoon, uh, trophies, the different coat of arms, emblem, and uh, all sort of fashionable things you can think of. Beautifully made brassworks are found in Bidda. The glassware technology, however, is not hereditary. This technology was brought to Nupi land, specifically Bidya. Since uh, 1950, our forefathers migrated from Egypt to down here. So though before the land here, they uh, arrived in some places like uh, Bara, they have to look for the raw materials of their skills. So in such places, 
there is no raw material, enough raw material there. So they move down here. So when they reach here, they were able to have enough raw material here. That's why the base here. By that time, we don't have something like glass and the bottle at that time. The raw material, they manufacture it by themselves. That uh, raw material, they used to combine sand and uh, potash together. So they will be boiling it for, a, for some weeks. So when it melted, then later on, they will dig it out and shear it among the, among the workshops where they produce the glasses and other things. So this part of uh, remnant of that raw material, they themselves they name it bikini. <laughs> A strong bond exists between the various Nupe kingdoms and they love to eat together as a mark of unity and solidarity. And one of their main diet is Eobochi or Ejeshen Kafa with Ezoa, a traditional food meshed rice with bean soup and dried fish. In the area of dressing, the women love to tie wrappers with a shawl to match and a little wrapper around the waist, while the men love to wear clothes that are hand-woven, like the ashoki common in Yoruba land. Most of us, particularly our women, have lost tight, light tie with their form of dress. The, our women used to be formerly beautifully dressed. Unfortunately, our young ladies today uh, become westernized. Eh? They don't want to dress like uh, the, the typical Nupe woman again. The typical woman is fully dressed and she has what you call a deco. You have a formal dress and then you have a formal smaller piece to cover something like this. Not only that, a lot of vocabulary exists both in Nupe language and the Yoruba language. When a Yoruba man wants to emphasize a point, he uses the word pataki. If no if a man wants to emphasize a point, he uses the word pataki. If a believer wants, wants to emphasize a point, he uses the word pataki. And I keep on telling people that, look, there must be an historical relationship between these people, the Lupes, the Yorubas, and the even Beninese. Because of the migratory tendency of the various kingdoms, including the Nupes, there is a lot of intermarriages between the Nupes and other tribes. Nupe people are quite uh, humble, quite generous, and very accommodating for strangers. We hardly have any issues about strangers living with us, having communal tribes and so on. No, we welcome strangers. They are all in our midst. We consider them part of us. We intermarry, and we do all sorts of activities together with them. Majority of our people, they are Nupe, they speak Yoruba, and some of them. Yorubas, they speak Inupe. So forget about the intermarriage. That has been existent for years. Unless if you review it. Hmm? A long time ago, our parents will not allow us to marry anybody that is not Inupe tribe. No. But now, it's happening. You can be married to Yoruba. You can even bring a evil man. You can bring a worry man that you want to marry. You can bring a outer man. But before marriage, even your dad has a friend that is not Nupe tribe. You will make sure that, he doesn't, that his friend doesn't know that he has a daughter so that you will not say that he loves his daughter. If not because of system of education now that your daughter goes to university or my degree goes to work, it, in those days, it was difficult for a Nupe man to give his daughter to somebody who is not a Nupe man. It was difficult. Because what? You must have assimilated. What do we mean by assimilation? To assimilate in Nupe land, you, first and foremost, you must be able to speak Nupe language. And if you don't speak Nupe language, 
It's difficult for a new man to give you his daughter. The Sagi Nupe is the head of all women in the Nupe kingdom and she is responsible for settling conflict between husband and wife and also serving as an intermediary between intending spouses. When a lady you are matured enough to get married, our tradition is that they will bring you out and bath you early in the morning as early as 4.30 to 5 in a.m. in the morning. We have a soap that we call black soap. They will bath you with that one. We have what we call Eza, that they will mix it and bath you. And that is a make you shiny. We have oil that we call it. That it you will see it with always with Indians. Even a baby, the body is hot. They will rub it. They will apply it, and the body will be good. In times past, it was taboo to eat eggs in Nupe land. But with modernity, most of the taboos have disappeared. We actually worship crocodile with. It is a divine creature. But when Islam came and Christianity came, they stop us from all those things. And honestly, I don't think there is anything to do these days except if it is what Islam prohibited or Christianity prohibited. The Nupe culture is rich in the art, and this can be seen in their dances and various displays, which are quite unique. A day that we see each other, it may be long, you may see each other that day and greet, which is a blessing. It brings unity to Nupia land, to Niger State, and to the country Nigeria as a whole. The Nigerian state government is very happy with this program, has commended the ETU, and has also instructed the Minister of uh, Culture and Tourism to take every step to make this uh, festival an annual event with a view to promoting the Nupe culture and the tradition. The Nupes are said to exist in various parts of Nigeria as a result of their history, migration and interactions between them and other tribes who along the line have influenced and contributed to their lives as a people and whom they are connected to historically. Us, Nupi people, both here in Nigeria and in the diaspora, everywhere you go, Nupi is Nupi. There are Akpas in Isaleko, and they are the original indigenous of Isaleko, and they are Nupis, ancestry. But now they are Yorubas. But you go to Isaleko, you will still see them speak the language. Those of them who cannot, they will still be dressing somehow with, uh, with some similarities to what we have in Niger State. Even if you go through history, for example, Shango, Shango, the Alafi in Shango, his mother was from Nupia land. And that is from Nupia land I got all those these mystical powers. It remains to be seen, however, if these connections can lead to a more united, peaceful coexistence between various tribes in Nigeria and whether culture
will continue to play an important role in unifying our various differences over time. Culture is actually you know, characterized by behavior, the way you behave, what you eat, what you, how you dress, how you talk, you know. And then we thank Almighty God, yeah, our own is unique. And we identified as saying that we are very proud, every Nupian man and woman, wherever they may be, they are very proud of this culture that God has given us. And we display it without any, you know, sort of um, regret or without any, you know, uh, reservation. <laughs> Oh, yeah, too good, oh, no, no, no.